Hi, this is Galiko Fark. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about phytoestrogens and their effect on body estrogen levels and health. In the female body, estrogen is the primary sex hormone, regulating the menstrual cycle and affecting the reproductive system. However, not many people know that estrogen also affects almost all of the other tissues of the body, including the brain. In the brain, estrogen increases serotonin levels and the number of serotonin receptors, controlling the amount of endorphins, the feel-good chemicals in our body. Estrogen also plays a major role in male sexual function as it modulates libido, erectile function, and sperm formation. Low levels of estrogen can hinder sexual development and reduce sexual function in both men and women, as well as increasing the risk of suffering from obesity, osteoporosis, and heart disease. High estrogen levels will lead to blood clots, which can lead to stroke and a heart attack. High estrogen levels may also lead to diabetes and to cancer, especially breast cancer. In men, estrogen must be balanced with testosterone, and in females and women, uh, uh, must be balanced with progesterone. High estrogen levels may happen when using hormone therapy or contraceptives or when a person is overweight since fat tissue absorbs and stores estrogen. Fat tissue also produces estrogen from other hormones. High estrogen levels also occur when the liver uh, is, uh, has a disease or has a weakness of uh, some sort due to certain medications that affect the liver and also when taking certain antibiotics or herbal remedies. Estrogen also influences calcium levels affecting bone health and estrogen also helps maintain healthy levels of cholesterol. Now, to keep estrogen levels in balance, one must limit their alcohol and processed meat consumption and take part in regular exercise while consuming fresh fruits and vegetables and foods that are rich in phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens are estrogen-like natural occurring compounds derived from plants that mimic estrogen in the body. Phyto is a Greek word meaning plant, and estrogen is the primary female sex hormone, but it is found in both men and women and regulates, regulates different body functions in both men and women. Phytoestrogens are structurally similar to the estrogen form 17 beta estradiol. This structural similarity is what allows phytoestrogens to cause anti-estrogenic as well as estrogenic effects by binding to different estrogen receptors. In humans, there are two types of estrogen receptors, the alpha receptor and the beta receptor. Unlike the estrogen that the body produces, which mostly binds and activates the alpha receptor, phytoestrogens from foods preferentially and most often bind to and activate the beta receptor. Now, these two types of receptors have different and almost uh, opposite functions. Beta activation from foods rich in phytoestrogens have an anti-estrogenic effect, inhibiting the growth-promoting effects of actual estrogen. Therefore, these phytoestrogens may actually have an anti-proliferative impact on some cancer cells, even in low concentrations that are achieved by even eating one serving of phytoestrogen-rich foods a day. However, some research suggests that at times, plant-based phytoestrogens may also function much like human estrogen and our bodies respond as if our natural estrogen is present. Therefore, care should be taken when consuming phytoestrogens in cases where estrogen levels in the body are very high. In most cases, people do benefit from consuming high levels of estrogen. Now let's talk about the benefits of phytoestrogens. Numerous beneficial health effects have been attributed to phytoestrogens, such as lower risk of heart disease, metabolic syndrome, and type 2 diabetes, as well as obesity and brain function disorders, as well as breast and prostate cancer, and a low, lowered risk of menopausal symptoms, including hot flushes and osteoporosis. A 2009 study found that consuming soy products can decrease the risk of recurrence or death from breast cancer. Phytoestrogens are extremely beneficial to women when combating menstrual issues. When a woman's estrogen levels drop, it can affect her mood and her energy levels. It is advisable to eat foods that are rich in phytoestrogens to balance the hormone levels and relieve these symptoms.
Phytoestrogens may also help to combat acne by rebalancing hormone levels. A 2017 study supports this claim. There are other benefits of phytoestrogens, including their effects on male hormones and their effects on testicular cancer that I mentioned in a different video, which I will uh, make a link to at the end of this video. Phytoestrogens have also been found to be beneficial in reducing symptoms caused by estrogen deficiency, such as slow sexual development and decreased sexual function. Phytoestrogens have also been found to be useful as hormone replacement therapy. So where can you find phytoestrogens? Well, a balanced, plant-based diet is rich in natural phytoestrogens in healthy quantities. Vegetables, fruits, legumes, and sometimes of, some types of grains all have phytoestrogens. The most notable sources of phytoestrogens are angelica, black cohash, carrots, uh, chestaberry, coffee, uh, donkwai, evening primrose, flax seeds, legumes, licorice root, oranges, red clover, soy, all types of soy uh, contain foods that contain soy or that come from soy, and tea. Other foods that have phytoestrogens um, but in lower levels include sunflower seeds, almonds, walnuts, apples, pomegranates, strawberries, cranberries, yams, lentils, um, and all sorts of sprouts, as well as red wine and beer. Phytoestrogens can also be taken in supplement form. However, it is advisable to be careful when taking phytoestrogen supplements, especially if you're taking them long term and in high doses as a hormone replacement therapy. It is always better to consume phytoestrogens naturally from food. There, is all, there are also foods that, ha that help regulate estrogen balance in case of excessive estrogen levels, and these foods include cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and kale, as well as whole grains, red grapes, and mushrooms. The bottom line is phytoestrogens can be especially beneficial in relieving premenopausal, premenstrual, postmenopausal, and menstrual sy symptoms. Phytoestrogens also play a role in fighting different types of cancer in both men and women. However, few studies claim that there may be a potential health risk if consuming phytoestrogens when suffering from excessive estrogen levels. However, there is not sufficient evidence for this claim. However, to err on the safe side, if you do suffer from high estrogen levels, I recommend consuming the foods that help reduce estrogen levels along with a well-balanced diet that supports weight loss if needed and very limited alcohol and processed meat consumption. When there is no excess in estrogen in the body, then the benefits of consuming phytoestrogen-rich foods outweigh any risks, if there are any, and will help balance hormone levels. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button. And please also visit my website, thegorillediet.com, for anything to help you move and improve your health to a better place. Thank you very much for joining.